Good morning, everyone, and thank you and welcome. I think most of you know that I'm Luigi Ferrara. I'm the Dean for the Center for Arts, Design, and Information Technology at George Brown College and the Chair and CEO of the Brookfield Sustainability Institute. But I want you to imagine that I'm uh, a little bit taller and I'm very beautiful and uh, um, uh, because actually this morning it was our Vice President Academic Eileen de Courcy, who was uh, to be here to greet you and welcome you. Uh, unfortunately, there was a death in her family and she wasn't able to attend, but uh, imagine that I'm her and that everything that I'm telling you uh, is coming uh, from her because she really, really wanted to be here today. She is uh, very strongly committed uh, to ensuring that we will be delivering education in the sustainability space. It's one of her top priorities as our, our Vice President of Academic. And she personally uh, really believes strongly in sustainability and has really been a champion as well since joining the college of everything we're doing with Limberlost, including um, looking at, uh, you know, the, uh, and luckily we future-proof the building, looking at how we pioneer new education formats um, and do things differently in the 21st century when we're educating our students. Um, so uh, I'm delighted. We have an incredible uh, day of speakers for you. And I, I'd want to start again by acknowledging that George Brown College is located on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of the uh, Credit First Nation and other Indigenous people who have lived here over time. We're grateful to share this land as treaty people who learn, work, and live in the community with each other. At this time, I'd also like to thank Rhoda Blass, our co-organizer of this event. Uh, it's been fantastic to work with their team, and we really um, are uh, having it because of this incredible partnership that we have with them, uh, with the Brookfield Sustainability Institute. Um, I also would like to remind people about uh, Limberlost Place, the new 10-story mass building, uh, mass timber building that you probably walked by as you came into this building, uh, and how it's a tangible example of the change that we're all working towards and trying to promote with the work that we're doing and the knowledge that we're sharing in this, con uh, in, in, in this conference. George Brown College is committed to building sustainably because we understand two things, how important it is to fight against climate change to build sustainably with carbon neutral materials and methods. And we know how vital it is that, um, that we use this uh, understanding to also build housing and other services uh, to affordably accommodate a growing population that we have. So we are hoping to see the mass timber work that's been happening in the commercial and um, institutional sector spread more widely into the residential sector uh, to, to change our, our urban environments in essence. Uh, today, uh, we're at a crucial turning point in our efforts to uh, combat climate change, uh, and mass timber is really reshaping uh, that, uh, the whole system of how we build and construct. And I'm uh, drawn to what Jose, our keynote speaker in the kickoff, said about you know the 19th century being about the birth of steel uh, and iron and steel, and then the 20th century being about the prevalence of concrete. Our 21st century really does need to be uh, about the return of wood, let's call it that, because wood was always there and it's just uh, important that it return. Um, as you have heard over the past day and a half of the conference, uh, these technologies are, uh, pr are practical, realistic, and um, we can use them to achieve our goals as long as we work together collaboratively and creatively. Uh, you've started to see the potential for this material in uh, all sorts of different types of construction. And you've seen how people have experimented with new techniques, how the evolution of technology is enabling new uh, opportunities uh, to emerge and new ways of creating buildings uh, that are safe and uh, that will have longevity and that will uh, really uh, uh, turn the dial in our, our fight against climate change. Uh, this conference, uh, we think, is the largest and uh, first event of its kind in Canada. We know that there's a mass timber conference in Portland and there's wood rise in Europe, but we're looking forward uh, for this to become something annual in Canada. 
Um, I also want to mention that we have some other related events uh, happening, coming up at the Brookfield Sustainability Institute, um, where we're working in partnership with um, uh, Design Meets and Pivot on a workshop on life-centered design. So if you're interested in the whole uh, issue of designing not just for people, but designing for everybody who's part of the planet, we're having a, a, an incredible three-day workshop at the end of September. Um, and it's an immersive workshop that starts here, but then actually takes you into nature and teaches you how to look at nature uh, and to design uh, with nature and for all of the people in nature. So if you're interested, just reach out to us and we can get you information about that workshop. And now uh, I'd like to introduce you to Francois Laurent Chabot, who's the general manager at Rotoblast Canada Construction Products Inc. and the co-organizer co of our Mass uh, Timber Seminar Canada Conference. Uh, Rotoblast is a global company from the Italian Alps uh, and it's leading in the creation of high technology solutions for the heavy and mass timber industries for energy efficient, net zero, and other building, uh, better building practice sectors. Please join me in welcoming Francois. Hello everyone, yeah, so for the one, for the people who were in here yesterday, uh, my name is Francois Laurent Chabot, and I'm general manager of Rotoblast uh, Canada. We're happy to have you here for our second day. Um, yesterday was uh, incredible with uh, a lot of great speakers. Looking to be even better today. 